Hello. This video is intended to show how one would design a completely original shape using the Silhouette Studio design software. This project came about as a means to come up with some small decorative stars for the wheels of a model of a B-17 bomber uh, from World War II. The original plastic model, which was being worked on by a fellow of mine, uh, came with some decals which did not work correctly. So I thought here's a good chance to use the uh, Silhouette software and the Cameo cutting device to make some very specific designs. These are not drawn from a cartridge. They are completely designed from scratch using the software. And this video will hopefully demonstrate how I went about doing that and other people can learn something from this. The first slide shows a couple of circles which were drawn. These were drawn to scale uh, with the exact dimensions measured from the wheels of the plastic model. There's an inner circle which shows the pattern of or the diameter of the pattern of the bolt holes which were to be avoided by the decal and the outer circle defines the diameter of the rim of the wheel so nothing could extend beyond that outer circle. The second slide shows a series of six uh, rays or guidelines which were drawn at 60 degree increments. These were drawn as a single line manually aligned with the center of the circle and then uh, copied with a 60 degree uh, rotational offset to end up with the correct number of points. The third slide shows a similar process where uh, several lines were drawn and then rotated 72 degrees, which is uh, one-fifth of 360 degrees, and then manually positioned so that they intersected with each other at the points where they crossed the uh, outer circle. This creates a five-point star. The next slide shows where I added six small circles. These were freehand and actually were slight ellipsoid, but they serve to represent the uh, bolt patterns on the wheel rim. And this helped me to avoid putting the star uh, where those would be located. They're shown intersecting with the inner circle. The next slide shows the bolt rays deleted for clarity, so only the bolt patterns remain. The next slide shows the inner circle uh, and the points of the star adjusted to correspond with each other. In other words, the outer points of the star have been reduced from intersecting with the outer circle to a smaller diameter intersecting with the inner circle. I thought this would end up looking better on the wheel since the points of the star would not be going all the way to the outside of the rim. But this just shows the flexibility that's possible and this is very easy to do in the software. The next slide shows a polygon created overlaying the guidelines for the five-point star. This shows up in the slide as a black line in the uh, shape of the five-point star. It is overlaying the red lines which are just the guidelines. The next slide shows the polygon filled with a red fill color. This is the color of the desired star for the wheels of the, uh, of the bomber. The next slide shows the outline representing the diameter of the wheel rim changed to a dash line to reflect something that I don't actually plan to print. The next star shows the guidelines for the five-point star deleted, leaving only the star itself. The next slide shows everything deleted except for the star and the dash line that represents the diameter of the wheel. The next slide shows an overview of the uh, design software showing that one star has been replicated into two stars. The next slide shows a representation of the 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper positioned on the cutting mat within the software. Here you can see the uh, registration mark in the upper left hand corner. It looks like a small black square and in the lower left corner and the upper right corner are uh, angular 
uh, shapes which are also registration marks. The next slide shows this pattern printed on a color laser printer. You can see the registration marks and the two stars. The next slide shows the paper put on the cutting mat and positioned into the Silhouette Cameo machine. The next slide is simply a close-up showing the machine ready to cut. The next slide shows the cutout pattern. Now because of an error on my part, I had uh, designated the outer circle which was dashed lined to actually cut. I should have turned that off so it would just appear as a dash line and not actually cut anything. But it doesn't hurt anything here either. Now the uh, blade that was used here was a fairly dull blade. It had been doing a lot of industrial cutting and on the cheap copier paper used for this test it nicked the uh, corners of the stars a little bit. A subsequent cut was done using some 3M print to last paper which is actually a specialty plastic which looks like paper and can be laser printed like paper and this makes uh, for very nice uh, shapes of this sort and another cut was done using that paper but for this uh, slide you can see the slight nicks in the copy paper caused by the dull knife blade. The next slide shows the backing paper peeled away and the two small stars remaining on the cutting mat. And the next slide shows the two stars peeled away from the cutting mat and positioned next to a ruler so you can see how small they are. Finally is a slide showing one of the stars positioned as sort of a test fit on a wheel of the model. Uh, this isn't precisely positioned and it was just used to demonstrate whether the stars would look appropriate and were properly sized. You can see the original bolt pattern and the star is not rotated to correspond with them as it should be. But this was a proof of concept. Then as I mentioned before this whole process was repeated on some better paper and the final result was very good. So this is an illustration of how one can design completely original shapes doing pretty much anything you like using the Silhouette Studio software and the Cameo cutting machine.